Hello, welcome from Eritreal Dungeon. We have two things to pick up. <clears throat> or not two things to pick up. Just one thing to pick up, which are ashes. Uh, and couple other things. Now, as we have key, we can again explore this area. And I decided to do commentary for this, because this area is highly, highly annoying. I'm not sure if I still going down in single hit by the fire, but it might be somehow related to wearing this Walnir crown, you know? It seriously might be related to that. Uh, because I can't find any other explanation. Of course, I didn't want to test it, but this is just what I'm assuming happening. If you're wearing this crown, you die in single hit by fire. Or maybe I am completely wrong. I don't know. For now what I know is I wanna open this. And for that I need the key. Which are on opposite side. That's what I know. So yeah, now we have shortcuts. And yeah, just die. My blood loss is almost full. So here shall be keys. Yep, we have key now. Did I read this before? I don't think I did, but here are also ashes, which will be challenged, and those ashes gonna be challenges, challenging to pick up. Well, gonna try. There is Cartus, Skeleton, and Jailer over here. They are both aggro yet, so what if I can kill those guys before Jailers will fuck me up? I actually can. I was 100% sure that plan will not work. It actually did. Holy shit. And maybe ashes are actually not here. I never really bothered to pick everything up in Eritreal because I just hate jailers in general. But because we play the mod, there might be something new if we explore this area. For example, here, are you dropping something new? No, doesn't seem like it. But there is something on the opposite side of this, so maybe we should go there. I know, opposite side leads to Dragon Peak, I'm gonna assuming. Or is this is... No, this way leads to Dragon Peak, so... What is at the bottom here? What is at the bottom here? We have... yeah, those are ashes, yeah, so now we have ashes, and there should be a guy which drops sorcery over here, I guess? Yeah, he's over here, we can hit him and kill him through wall, and he no longer dropping spells, that's cool. That's very, very cool. So now we can check is the sorcery ring is still in Eritreal. I forgot how this ring calls. Like, yeah, the one over here. You think this ring is still here? Let's see, it should be here. Yeah, bellowing ring. Bellowing. Jesus Christ. I don't want to test that I still die in single hit by fire. I don't. As long as I'm Ember, I don't want to lose it, you know? 
don't want to test it as long as I am Ember. If I lose it, then I might test it, but now the last thing what we can do is to talk with Carla. We can talk with Carla and maybe we should also pick something over there. What is this? Sound of very warrior. That's cool. He came all the way here just to die like this. Hmm. So now we have this loot, which I didn't pick before the two giant being over here. So yeah, there is no giant. I can't deal with this, but I have to remember there is Bolotarian Knight over there. Can I just skip this guy? Actually, I cannot, because if there is fire which one shows me, I have to fight with demons. And there are bases as well, which can curse me. That's not cool. Look at this. I'm already... I'd be dead by... There is nothing what I can do here at all. Like, you see how quick this shed building up my curse, my frenzy. And it is so dark, like, I seriously cannot even see Basilisk in this darkness. I cannot. This guy is technically shade, so I can see him very, very well, but Basilisk. Nah, can't see shed. So, I'm not gonna be fighting with them. They're moving slow anyway, so they cannot catch up with me. So, yeah, let's just keep all of them. Have a good night, bro. Have a good time, I should say. And I also miss this one. So, miss this one, and I'm gonna miss this one again because I'm gonna. No, never mind. Those guys are just bullshit by default. Hmm. Okay, I'm glad we learned that. I'm glad those guys can one-shot you regardless. I don't understand why they didn't before. But we now can see it is related to locations where those guys are put at. Because before in Demon Ruins, they just have him burning status on hit. And I was wearing exactly the same armor. So, yeah, those guys can one-shot you. Trailers taking you away, ma taking away your max HP and those guys instantly one-shotting you. Jay, tell me what is worse and honestly, we might just go here. If I cannot take damage by fire and die single hit, we might just go over here. Uh, except I have to wait for this elevator, or actually I don't have to. This might be suicide, but I think I could roll forward and I would land like over here, where is usually a lightning weapon buff. But better not risk it, not as long as you have soul on the line, which I might be losing right now by those guys, you know? Yep, because I got stuck. No, never mind, I guess. I don't fucking understand this. Because you see, now those guys didn't one-shot me. So, is this is related to being Ember or what? Or is this is seriously like 50-50? You either burning or die instantly. I seriously don't understand this. I got hit by the same attack, but one time I instantly died and the other time... I was fucking alive, so... Is this is because you are Ember? Is this is the reason? This is the reason because there is like nothing what can buff those guys. There is no sorcerer which can provide them buff. So it is not related to they are just buffed before. No. They are. They were. 
my English. Those guys are not buffed before. They weren't buffed before because there is nothing to buff them. There is no one who can buff them. So yeah, they doing exactly the same damage except sometimes it, it is one shot and sometimes it is just burying status, which prevents you from healing. Because you see, I didn't change armor, I didn't change jack shit. So, is those guys now one shot me or not? I guess we... Never know... The answer on this question, but the point still stands. Why those guys are so random, I don't understand this. And we might just also grab... Those... Follower skull. That's new. Invading another world. The world with two guys. Gee. Tell me those two guys do not hacking. Tell me. I mean, it might probably not even connect me with them, but the point still stands when there is like two guys, for sure at least one of them hacking. Oh well. Oh fucking well. So what, they either hacking or also playing mod together. Yeah, thank you. I'm actually on a quest to release the... No, Carla is not the princess. I was gonna say, I'm on a quest to release princess and by the way, now I'm de literally dead. I cannot actually believe this, but I'm actually dead. This is crazy. Look, I will die, even if I will use all my fucking veils. That's how course works, my veils are upgraded fully. Never mind, so I guess it takes like what, six of them? Seven? That's almost like one shot. This is not really one shot, but you get the point. If you get hit by this bullshit, you are fucked pretty much. Because most likely you are getting hit by this when there is like several enemies to hit you and finish the job. I was lucky because there was no one so I could outweigh it but mostly there are like enemies that you want to run past and you cannot. Um, Hi. Yay, join me. Join me, join me and now... As I lost my ember, due to being bullshitted, because it was bullshit, I got... I was fucking one-shotted by a guy which, as soon as I respawned and fought within again, he didn't one-shot me by the same attack. So, tell me what the fuck. Hmm. Ashen, thou, then I am thou giving the eye. Should we even spend this? We might just grab some spells if there are new spells here. I don't even know. The luck seems to be the best to level up, honestly. I might just level up weapon. Which kind of healing from luck because apparently Hollow Infusion gives you possibility to like steal HP from your enemies upon hit. Basically, can heal by just doing damage, just like in Bloodborne, if your weapon is hollow. Because, as you can see, those... This weapon is hollow and this weapon has this effect. And this... So, also was hollow before this bug appeared. So, yeah. Uh, but let's check Carla and let's check what she can sell me. Now, I can give her the fucking... Yeah. So, she had this. She has this. Mostly everything is the same. Most, most of this is the same. 
But I have no Yuria here, so I cannot give her the other thing. I might just buy this anyway. Hmm. Step your mind. Yeah, 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 I know. And if I will send Grey Rat on fucking journey, he will not make it alive because he will go directly to Eritrill, but Sigmire or Patches cannot save him because I don't know where those assholes are now. So yeah, sending him on a journey will kill him basically. So from his ashes I'm gonna be having exactly the same wares as he's selling right now, so yeah. There is no point to even talk with this guy. But we might for the rest of the episode attempt the demon prince. This might be harder, you know? We're already like 15 minutes in, in this episode. 15 minutes, so I have like what, 10 minutes to attempt this boss? If this is unchanged boss, I can do it, but if this is just like with Nameless King, uh, this is gonna be nightmare. But let's look on the bright side, the Frida actually wasn't different. Frida wasn't different at all. So maybe those guys are also not different. And I would likely, I would be glad. Yeah, I picked a loot over there. Can I make this? Yeah, I can. Cool. So let's just unequip this ring for sake of... I don't know, this one? I don't even know where is plus one and plus two, because you can get all versions in just regular game. As you see in with Ring of Favor, we are still in regular NG and we have like plus one, or we didn't have plus one. We have just regular one, the plus two and plus three from DLC. So yeah, I didn't found any upgraded Hloranty ring. I know plus three is in DLC, or at least I will assume it is still here, but first to get it, I have to kill this boss, and yeah, this bonfire is still here. This bonfire is still here, so yeah. So far I didn't summon. I don't think I need it. I don't think I need summoning at all. I like how sometimes something dying and I don't even know what. Uh, shall we use this? Just go with this one. Obviously, because we are unembered, we're gonna be doing about 20% less damage. But if this is the same boss, I can do it. Yep, there is very, very dark here. So that's cool. Just get hit by this. You see, my damage is solid. Yeah. So this is one. Is this a steal from Bloodborne, by the way? I don't remember this music in Bloodborne at all. Although I never seen the ending of Bloodborne. I seen the one reborn, but I don't even know if this is final boss. Probably not, but this is like last boss I seen. So, what is Demon Prince here? Uh, let's just use bath, but maybe not the fire. Let's try with lightning. Hi. I'm gonna assume your burning will now prevent me from healing. Oh god. 
And yeah, I'm doing significantly less damage to you now. I now have no stamina. But don't worry, we now hit Demon's Prince. Did you see that? Didn't even try it really, but I killed him first try, no damage. Of course I took damage because the first, first phase of this boss fight is just one boss, but twice for more fun. But if there is one boss, I can no hit this. If this is still like in original game, so, because this demon was like in the original game, we did it first try. Now I'm gonna assume Midir not gonna be like in the original game, same with Gale. Not sure about Spear of the Charge, and again, I'm having those like fragments and I don't even know where to spend them. I seriously don't know where to spend them, and wow, it's so dark. So dark, unbelievable. So, how Ring City actually looks like? No, oh, now it is day. Actually, it looks exactly the same. Maybe it's a little bit more brighter, but overall it looks exactly the same. That's odd. That's odd. How long is this episode? 21 minutes. I guess we can try to make the second bonfire or at least kill Judicator here. I'm gonna assume here is still Ruin Sentinel armor. One, two, three. And there is like 25 archers and they glowing so bright. Shining like a diamond. Look at them. And there is someone new over there. I see this Black Knight. This is like Red Phantom Black Knight. Okay, so we see some changes. Now, there are like many. They, they coming for me. If I can kill this Judicator which keeps fucking summoning those archers, I can... Uriel. Man, you not doing enough damage, that was like single hit and what? So, I'm gonna assume this... Connecting. Gee, I wonder who invade me and... E what purpose? Obviously, I know what purpose to kill me, but why now? I was seriously about to fight this Judicator and game Jews fucked me up. Many of us yeah, cool. The How about now? And... It's nice to see you. Good night, you fucking bitch. I mean, obviously, yeah. He returned the home thanks to Blue Sentinel. Thanks for coming and trying to hack. You're gonna be exposed on YouTube, bitch. Enjoy. So, yeah. I knew it, the leaving this episode, the making a little bit longer episode than just leaving over there, would be the best idea ever because we kicked the hacker. And. Is those guys like dying in single hit? That's the deal. Yeah, they seem to like die in a single hit. That's very, very weird. So they're like illusions? Is that what you're trying to tell me? Well... There is one guy over there at the bottom. What if I will like... Vanish all. You think it will actually do something? Fragrant ring. That's cool. I think I already have this one. Yeah. FP. 
that doesn't help me at all. Ember helping me, but not this. So, what if I will also kill this one? Are you drop something for me because of this? The answer is no. But I never noticed there is item over here, you know? So, I guess this episode is just a little bit of longer because we had hacker. I mean, even if he had level 400, I could still whoop his ass with my fucking cane. Because you see, this cane can hit everything and if you cannot see how enemies swing this, you will never dodge it. So, yeah, I still could... I still probably... Could kill his ass? Could kill him? I was gonna say I still could probably whoop his ass, but you know, I expected something gonna be here. I didn't expect that it's gonna be you, but well, you are something. You are quite something. So yeah, with my cane, I could probably kill this guy, but what is better than king guy? And the answer is kicking them with blue sentinels. From loading screen to loading screen. You wanna, you wanna PvP bro? Great. Create the legal account and play over there. Do not try PvP on banned account because you're gonna be fucking kicked. Or at least by me. The other banned people might like put you on higher NG or something. But no, I don't have time for fucking hacking PvP. I don't. To my search and to your duty. And I like how and you cannot skip this dialogue. Chorus. This is only one fucking text oh, which you right cannot then? skip. Bottoms up. Even this one. <laughs> what is so special in this one specific now, dialogue so you cannot now, skip it? Now, Why? What now. is so special in this? <sighs> Alright then, so I guess this is going to be end of this episode, we discover our bonfires and I like how immediately as I respawning everything by resting, by resting next to bonfire, something dying, like you can see, I mean maybe you cannot see it now because there is no enemies in firing shrine, but Sometimes when I'm respawning enemies, the one of them or just couple immediately dying upon respawning. I don't know why and because fire creeper is over here, we cannot get soft lock at the end. Well, disappointing really, but thank you for seeing this. I guess next time we unlock the access to Midir. And until then, take care and see ya.